the first thing you want to do is to turn on the switch on the wall to the laser cutter that you have booked. This will start the laser cutter. If the laser cutter does not turn on, when you turn on the switch on the wall, it might mean that the power switch on the machine itself has been switched off by a previous student. Make sure that this is turned on. When you see that in this small graphical user interface that we have uh, not, there's nothing stated uh, except empty file, speed none, power none, DPI none, PPI none, and you can go previous and next, but of course you don't have any files sent yet, so you can't do that. Uh, then you know that everything is as, it's, as it should. If it still says laser warming up or laser tube warming up, then you should wait, of course. When the laser cutter is on, you can actually start by jogging down the work area table. And you do this by clicking and holding the arrow buttons to the farthest right here. So I'll click and hold the lower bed button here. And it doesn't need to be lowered much, but just so that you know that when you input your material, that it doesn't collide with the, uh, with the laser cutter head. I open the glass door here. I'll position the material sheet on the work table bed here. You will have to remember that this corner is the origin corner of the laser cutter. So make sure that the material is positioned with its corner aligned to that corner. And when it comes to which side, top or bottom, you will position the material itself, then it's good to remember that you'll get a much better result if you allow, if it's got a bush like this, that you put it so that it rests on the corners. Like this. Otherwise, it could be more variance in how the material is actually lying on the bed. Alright, position the material so it is corner to corner and as aligned to the long edge here as possible. Very good. Then, with a gentle force, move the laser cutter head here to the center of the material sheet. Very good. Then make sure that you fetch the focus pin here. These are very valuable. They cost, a much, they cost much money to replace and you will have to be careful with them. They are very susceptible to injury if you allow it to fall to the floor from uh, holding height. So make sure that you carefully handle it. And also that you don't exert too much force when you input it into the laser cutter head here. There is no difficulty in positioning the laser cutter autofocus pin correctly on the laser cutter head. Because there are two guidance pins, longer pins there. There are two guidance holes here. So as to make sure that these eight connector pins are adequately inset. So hold it here in the flap or outset there and then just gently position it with the guidance pins and when you feel that you are correctly in position with the guidance pins then you gently 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 push it in like that very good and then on the laser cutter here between the lower bed arrow and the raised bed arrow there is a grey button that has a text autofocus this is the one that you press now. Press the autofocus button. If the autofocus pin is adequately um, positioned, then the, the work table will slowly, slowly jog up. If the autofocus pin is inadequately fastened, or if it is broken, then the work table will go the other way. It will lower itself instead. And if that is the case, just come to us in the office and we'll fix that. When you remove the autofocus pin, I find it's easiest if you gently hold the head. And then you can, with your long finger, you can apply that as a support. And then you can just pinch it out, like that, carefully. Reposition it into the autofocus pin bed. When you have autofocus, like you have now, you must make sure to press the function 1 key here. That's the, the, the functionality or the function of the F functionality keys 
are always straight, uh, straight, uh, straight above. So you see here that function 1 is now back, and we want to press back. That confirms the location of the work table. Alright, now you can close the glass door here and return to the computer.